Hey everyone, it is Brian Lewis once again with the Benjamin Dixon Show, bringing you that daily news content from America and around the world. So it is never a dull day in Trumplandia. Uh, today, Michael Flynn, the recently pardoned, by the way, Michael Flynn, took to Twitter and... He retweet. Actually, I said today it was actually yesterday. The first today is the second at six thirty p.m. and he retweeted uh, something called We the People Convention. It's a it's a website, and he tagged Sidney Powell. He tagged Lou Dobbs, and he tagged a man by the name of Lynn Wood. Now, Lynn Wood is the lawyer for this group, and this was a press release. And the big thing about this is that this press release, they this WTPC group took out a full-page ad in the Washington Times newspaper, which is a, a right-leaning uh, rag, and they took out this full-page ad to call on President Donald Trump to invoke limited martial law in order to allow the U.S. military to oversee a, quote, free and fair federal election if legislators, courts, and Congress do not follow, follow the Constitution. They are also calling for a what they're calling a uh, temporary, I guess you can say, repeal of the Constitution, if that's even a thing. I, I don't think that it is, but the reason why I'm doing this this story, and I'm going to keep it short and sweet, right? Because I don't want to give these people too much attention. It's the continued delusion, mass delusion that's occurring on the right, where it's now becoming clear to them that they're not going to overturn this election in any sort of legal fashion. So they're now just pulling pulling out all the stops and calling for uh, uh, the destruction, the openly, openly calling for the destruction of the Constitution. They don't word it in that way because they're not going to word it that way. But the, destruct the destruction of the U.S. Constitution and martial law so that they can instill their will by force. That is what they want. And the fact that you had somebody in the somebody that was just recently pardoned for con engaging in illegal activity and General Flynn, you know, retweet, retweeting this and giving uh, he even said this. He even tweeted this as part of his retweet, uh, quote, freedom never kneels except for God. So th these people are delusionally dangerous. And it's it's never going to stop. And, and I don't even think it's going to stop when Trump leaves office. You know, I think these people, I think they understand that their power is is limited. It, like it's not they can no longer maintain power democratically. Trump has even admitted this publicly several times. He says Trump said, and I quote, Republicans are never going to win another election, you know, with mail in ballots. This is why they don't like mail-in ballots, and this is why they they support voter suppression. They'll never admit to supporting voter suppression, but this is why, because they they can no longer rely on the democratic po process to maintain power. So they're openly calling for uh, you know temporary temporarily destroying the Constitution and you know having a, a military military backed elections. This is like something in that you see in developing nations. This is not something that you expect to see in a so-called democracy. Yeah.